So when your SMART table starts up, it's always going to start up with the lesson that was previously loaded up onto the table. So let's say you were working on this alphabet activity on a Friday afternoon. You shut down your table after school. Monday morning you turn it back on and it'll still show this alphabet lesson. So if you want to change that, you need to go to the teacher interface. So on the side of your smart table underneath the power buttons are two USB ports. So you can take any USB stick or the blue USB bracelet that came with your smart table and you plug it into the side and then that will switch over to the teacher interface. The teacher interface is designed to be hidden like with that USB stick so that there we go, so that the students don't have the ability to change these very often. Well, they don't change them at all, really. So here is where you would, for instance, change the number of learners that you would want to have at the table at one single time. You can go all the way up to eight, although personally I found that working with lower numbers has been more beneficial. So I find four or five, just like you would in a center group, is very useful. So I'm going to set that to four. Here's where you can change the volume. And depending on how loud it is in your classroom or even how loud the instructions are on any given activity that you've downloaded or created, that you might want to adjust the volume for every lesson that you work with. Here where it says activity packs, that's the word for lessons. So if you've created or downloaded an entire activity pack, created a whole lesson, as I generally call it, this is where you're going to see them. You can download extra lessons from the Smart Exchange website, but there are some loaded up onto your table as well. So to see what's already on your table, you can hit the little white button right there, and that shows what activities already loaded up onto your table. There's some loaded onto your table when you get it right out of the box. To see what's on any USB stick or bracelet, you're going to hit the bracelet icon and that'll show what's on that USB stick. If you don't have any table content on that USB, then this will be blank. So let's say I downloaded a lesson and I want to be able to use this on the table. So what I can do is I can say open up this one that says addition and subtraction. I'm going to click the open button and once I've loaded it once, it's going to stay on the table, which is great if I share the table with other teachers in my school. Now if I unplug the USB, it'll move away from the teacher interface and to the student interface. So here's an addition and subtraction lesson and now my students could start to use it. And that's how you use the teacher interface to help change settings on the table.